Hi, I'm Anastasia Eden from kindearth.net and I make gluten-free vegan recipes that taste delicious and I try to make them as easy and simple as possible. So if you want to see more of those, please do subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot if you do that. But today, I'm going to show you how to make my favorite gluten-free vegan wraps. So let's have a little peek and see what's in here. We've, what we've got is these really nice, pliable, rollable, and wrappable, look at that, look how rollable that is, little wraps. They're gluten-free and they're vegan. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make them. So what we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to do two different versions just to give you options. The main ingredient is going to be chickpea flour. You can also use besan flour and um, garbanzo flour, gram flour. They're all kind of chickpea flours of one form or another, and they'll work in pretty much the same way. And you can either use 50 grams of tapioca flour or tapioca starch. It's often called flour or starch, pretty much the same thing. Or you can use 50 grams of ground oats. This is oat flour, you can buy oat flour or you can do what I do, which is pop it into a blender and just grind it down yourself. That's nice and easy. And then I'm gonna add a nice generous pinch of salt. So there's a couple of things you really need to know in this recipe, right? One thing about chickpea flour and oat flour is that they tend to get a bit claggy and um, get lumps in it when you start to mix it. So the best way that I found to eliminate all lumps, because you don't really want lumps in there when you are cooking it in a pan, you want it to be nice and smooth. So the easiest way to do it is to pop it in a blender, blend it up. I recommend that way, it's the easiest. Also, you can just get yourself a nice fine sieve and then just push the flour through so that you're, you're, you're just having a lump free flour right from the start and then you just have to whisk it really hard with a whisk or a fork. I haven't got a whisk so I just use a fork to do mine and that works very well. I do use both methods but if you've got a blender, pop it in there and it will save you a lot of hassle. What I'm going to do, because it's the easiest method and I'm all about doing things the easiest way, so I'm just going to put my flour, careful, careful, because it can sort of spill all over the place. I'm going to pop that into my blender. This is a Nutribullet. You can use any blender to do this. I'm going to pour my 225 millilitres of water in there. It's quite forgiving. You can put more in if you want, you're gonna get a thinner batter. This is just all about getting a batter at this stage. Give it a shake up, because that is gonna um, stick a little bit to the side. And then give it a nice flick. Give it a shake. And there you go. You really just can do that for a few seconds and then it is absolutely perfect. Okay, so I've got my batter mixture ready to go. And what I need is a pan. So this is a non-stick pan. I'm not such a huge fan of non-stick pans in general because there's a lot of talk about there being quite a bit of toxicity in them. This one, however, is from a company called Green Pan and I got one recently and I'm a massive fan already. So they're not cheap, but they're really, really good and they are known to be toxin free non-stick so I'll leave a link for that actually because I do really personally highly recommend them and I'm quite excited about using them the other thing you can use is a well seasoned cast iron skillet which uh, works fine too okay so I've been heating this pan up I want it to be hot but not like ridiculously hot because I don't want to burn them so a good way to test to see if this is ready is get a tiny bit of water and flick it on there and if it sizzles and rolls 
you know it's good to go. So once the pan is hot, you pour on some more mixture. You can, depending on how big you make the wraps, you're going to get three or four wraps with this quantity. So pour it on, scoot it round. Oh, look at that. So we filled the pan nicely with this one. And it's also nice and round. So what's going to happen within one or two minutes, it's going to cook on the underside. It's going to start peeling away. So you just need to wait. You need to let it do its alchemy. It's doing a bit of divine magic here. It's kind of tempting to get in there too quick, but if you just wait, just wait till that right moment when you know that it's going to be cooked. Oh, look at that. So I'm just going to run this around the edge. There we go. All right, see that? So you can get, you can get the spatula underneath. Have a little peek. And then you can see it's just starting to tan nicely underneath. So I want to flip this over. Actually get your spatula or use your hand and just flip it over. And then you want to cook it for a minute or so on the other side as well. So after a minute or so, take a little peek and you're just going to see it tanning nicely. You don't want to cook it too fiercely, but you don't want it to cook at such a low temperature. If the temperature is too low, it'll actually stick to the pan. So that's the underside and you can see that it's just tanned nicely a little bit. And then when it's cooked on both sides, you wanna take it over to your tea towel and put it in there with the other ones. They're starting to soften nicely, a little bit crispy still, and then just pop that one in and then tuck them to bed. So they're just softening. So they were crispy when we put them in, now they're softening. So you just wanna leave them for 10 to 15 minutes before they're wrappable. You'll know when they're wrappable because they're nice and pliable. And what I'm gonna do now is show you how to make a nice little wrap with them. So I'm gonna get my nice round one. They're nice and soft because they've been in there for about 15 minutes. So what I want to do is you can put anything in you like. I often put beans, rice, quinoa in, roll it. Sometimes I even pop it in the oven and have a nice warm burrito style wrap. Today I'm going to put some nice hummus in. Just in the middle. Nice big dollop. And then I've made a nice raw slaw with carrot and sun-dried tomatoes. So I'm going to pop that in there too. It's going to be my lunch. And then a nice generous helping of rocket. So what I'm going to do is pull the wrap over, push it back, fold in the sides. So you want to pinch it in there a little bit. And there we go, and roll it, and roll it, and roll it, and look at that! You've got an absolutely delicious, gorgeous wrap. So you can put that in a lunchbox, and you can take it on a hike, you can slice it in half as well if you like. It's absolutely delicious, gorgeous, and divine. I do hope that you've enjoyed this and I hope that you try them, play with them, explore, experiment. Let me know what you put in with them. Let me know your variations and I look forward to hearing how it goes. Remember to subscribe to my channel. That helps me a lot with those crazy algorithms and please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'd love if you do that. If you're really interested in what I'm doing here, I do have some gluten-free vegan courses they're like full video courses with jam-packed with recipes that you won't find anywhere else some of my best recipes that i serve on retreats we've got the magical life of salads course and the gluten-free vegan meals course so if you're interested please do go check those out and i'd love it if you join me there too but i'll see you soon on youtube or wherever i'm posting this video Okay, thanks for tuning in and bye for now.